Welcome back ladies and gents, now we're going to be looking at how we can use this new uh, set of table, well data, this table um, that we created in the last video uh, on the side of the, the original data um, here and uh, unless we make use of this it's just a duplication for no reason so it's great that we've been able to um, break it down and uh, identify specific films uh, come up here and of course it's great, it's a great convenience to be able to have that control from here um, but what we're going to do is this we're going to use this data from that new set that new ta new table sorry uh, to find out exactly how many people came to watch that film what the revenue was uh, made from watch this film itself so basically how much did this particular film make the cinema uh, in that time period um, we're going to look at the percentage that is out of the total amount for the for the whole um, cinema so what percentage are what percentage is Star Wars for as, a, as an example out of the total of every film that's been played uh, or running or for those four or five months we're gonna look at the duration of that film and we're gonna look at um, the how that works out per minute basically just as a, another uh, form of calculation just to see basically which one is making the most money for the cinema um, per minute so I've already done some of the work here, but I'm going to show you how I got to this point. So the first thing you need to do is obviously pause the video and get these in underneath the uh, select movie field uh, that we created in the last uh, previous in the previous videos. Once you've done that, we'll look at the first one here. So we need to know the number of people who came to watch this particular film. So at the top here, we've got the summary for um, the number of people that applied, sorry, replied even. And uh, completed a survey, which is 499. But how many of the, how many of that 499 actually went to watch this particular film? And they should change according to the film itself. So, <clears throat> so it's going to be a subtotal, and it's going to be from that new table. And so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go in here. Equals subtotal. There we go. Bracket. And it's going to be um, in this sheet here, and we're going to look at the last one here. Okay, but we're going to go right down to the bottom. And the thing is, we need to know where it ends because we don't. Even though Star Wars ends here, we want to include the entire table. So we can go right down to the bottom. looking at this left hand side here to give us an indication where the table actually finishes here we go so we move across to here so you can see that's that there but we're going to move across to the last field which is price there so we want that one there and we're going to go up from there selecting the last one to here and then we're going to press the bracket and then press enter um, right one sec, just double check what is missing from here um, okay, I just want to double check this give me one second ladies and gents Right, ladies and gents, I completely forgot to put the number two here because we want to count it, obviously. So the, you want to put number two first, then you go over. So I put equal subtotals, brackets, two. Two means to count. And we want to count everything in this here. So we go right down to the bottom again. Looking for 500. There it is. So I'm going to click there. And it's from here all the way to the top. There we go. And that should hopefully work. There we go. So 95 people went to watch Star Wars. So if I change this now, it should automatically work. There you go. Wormwood was 21 people. I, Tonya, Tonya is 47 people. Okay, so you can see that works now. Okay. You need to now screenshot this. This um, subtotal formula explain why you've done this, how it works, and why it's going to be useful straight into the next section of 
the coursework here, uh, which is uh, titled Section 11 Subtotals, Percentages and Averages. So we're going to put that in here. That's your first screenshot. Explain that it's a subtotal. Ex a subtotal. Explain that it's going to calculate precisely how many people that did the survey went to watch the chosen film in the drop-down menu, the drop-down list. Okay, once you've done that, make sure you've done the, the, the comments for this as well, and we can move on to the next one. All right, so the total revenue from, made from this film, if you look at my uh, formula here, it's also another subtotal, but this time I'm going to put 9 after the brackets, and we'll do the exact same thing. Same place. So, in fact, it might even just be easy just to copy this down, and go in here and make sure that that is 500, and that's 2, because we want it to be exactly the same. Can you see? And, um, in fact, what might be even better... No, let's leave it as that. Let's leave it as that. So we're going to keep that the same, but the difference here is this time we're going to put 9 instead of 2. And what that does is it's going to give us a calculation, the sum of those 95. Okay? Um, the reason why it's not showing a pound sign is because we need to go back here and put pound here. So I'm going to go right down to the bottom and include um, currency in here. And you can't tell the difference right now, but you can see it here. Oh, I didn't include them. That would be useful. Always worth checking everything just in case. There we go. And if I go back here, the, that hasn't done it. Okay, so let's just change it here as well. Because we're dealing with numbers, that should be in numbers as well. So, so 95 people came to watch Star Wars. And from those 95, the cinema made £814.05. Now, the total is going to be a calculation of this from the amount. Yeah? Um... No, sorry, not that one. The percentage is going to be this from the total amount um, to make that percentage itself. So if you look at this one here, you'll see what I've done is basically got one um, cell, which is this one here, and divided by the total in the previous uh, table. So I'm just going to go and press equals. But before I do that, actually, just remembered, you need to screenshot this formula and explain what this formula is about, how it's been made, what's it, what is it connected to, and why is that useful. And you're going to screenshot and paste the result of that into here. So that's your second screenshot for section level 11. Make sure you explain what that is about. Don't also um, forget to include your comments for that as well. So let's do the percentages now. Equals this divided by, and we're going to go straight to the main one here. And luckily for us, if you remember, one of the first things that we did was we actually got the total for everything, this price paid, down here at the bottom. There we go. I'm going to click on this one here, and then we're going to press enter. Now at the moment, that says uh, pound sign. We don't want pound sign. We want that to be a percentage, not a currency. So I'm going to go here and change it to percentage. And there you go, 14.9%. Now you can change this, round it up or round it down. I quite like having it there making it a little bit more precise, so 14.9%. So 14.9% of those five months uh, sales came from Star Wars. Yeah, so almost, um, yeah, almost 15%, almost 15% of this cinema sales in the next, in the, in the, these five months, months came from uh, the selling of Star Wars tickets. Now, the average per customer would simply be uh, this one divided by that. Okay, so how much they made divided by the 95 customers. Um, and you can see there, I've just divided them. Now, the divide, if I haven't mentioned it already, in Excel, um, minus, obviously, I'm going to just write it down here, actually. I'm just going to put it down here. Minus looks like this, which is a minus symbol. Plus is obviously that. Equals is equals, obviously. Now, times is star. That's symbol there, that star symbol is times, if you want to times something by under something else, and divide is forward score. There, that's divide. So what we're going to do is, we're going to do this, equals, um, obviously after screenshotting this and explaining this, so this is your third screenshot, so let me delete this for a second. So this is now 
your third screenshot and you're going to say this is you showing how you can create a percentage and this percentage is showing the percentage of this out of the total the cinema made in that month okay so that's why that will be useful to show just how big a portion of their sales revenue was from particular films so that's your first screenshot second screenshot third screenshot this will be now the, th uh, the fourth task and therefore your fourth screenshot for section 11 equals we're going to do this divided by that equals there you go so this works out for this film anyway eight pounds fifty seven per person okay because of the uh, popularity of the film because of the uh, f the certificate rating as you know some films will have certain ratings which means it will limit who can and, can and who can't go and uh, see that film and that will obviously have an impact on how much of the movie movie will actually make okay so that's that and you're going to screenshot this now and explain why you have this so th this is a percentage this is an average per customer so this works out to be eight pounds fifty seven per customer even though there will be some child tickets in that and some adult tickets on average it works out to be eight pounds fifty seven for this film um, duration now duration um, I'm gonna leave that for now because this video is already uh, almost 12 minutes long so what I want you to do is I want you to make sure you've actually screenshotted these four tasks these four formulas talk about each one of them individually say that this is an average this one's a percentage the uses of them why would anyone need to know this information okay explain each one with comments in here for each one and of course the screenshots and then of course justification and annotations in your actual document here as well